How about a, one or two ideas that are really gonna make my resume stand out? Okay, I've got a secret. And 95% of the general population, that's professionals, everybody, never uses it. It's called a summary of qualifications section. And this is what it entails. It is four to six sentences that briefly describes your background, experience and strongest skills to do the job. So it might start out saying something like um, proven track record with six years of uh, credit management experience overseeing a staff of 10. If you're looking for a credit manager that's got a supervised staff, how many people are paying attention? Everybody. Because you just told me in that one sentence that you can do the job. And if we're searching these fast, and I'm sorry to say, the typical resume, when it's viewed, gets a 15 to 20 second glance, okay? And so it is critical that you use this summary of qualification. I never write a resume without it. I've written more than 5,000 resumes. I see my clients get interviews all the time. I know it's effective. Most career counselors teach it. We know it's effective, but yet most people don't. Um, the thing that's not effective is to do the bullet laundry list of all the skills that you think you have. Um, employers don't like that at all. They can also tell that the words are not connected to a sentence, too. And that'll automatically sometimes get you kicked out. So those are some things to think about. OK, that's very helpful. Um, we're coming to the end of this section, and I thought it might be helpful to talk a little bit about cover letters in the electronic world. What role do they play, if any? People think they don't need one anymore. How many people think that now you don't, because you're just sending in your resume, you don't need one anymore? You absolutely need a terrific cover letter. Right? And you need to take the time to make it specific, targeted to the job you're applying for. And that opening sentence summarizes the skills and the experience you bring to the job. Hone in immediately. Highlight some of your experience by using bullets that relate to some of the top skills they're asking for. People don't write cover letters. They don't uh, want to take the time. And the worst offense, Rio, is they use the generic one. Oh, I'm writing for a job I saw on your website, la da la da la da la da. And it has very little relevance to what we've advertised. Um, the worst thing also, too, in a cover letter, never tell them how much money you're looking for, okay? They don't want to know and they are going to kick you out if you would just volunteer that without even being asked. <laughs>